a different example in this video i am going to show you a different example uh, transaction in the business central package for different concepts please see my other video link is given in the description so we are going to take a expense uh, different example a small setup is required we need to have a gl account in which the <coughs> deferred expense uh, uh, entry will be posted in this case i have created a new gl account 2345 this is of type asset as this is a prepaid deferral expense so this is how it looks in business dynamics so if i go to business central and simply search my chart of accounts so this is the gl account which i have created so the code is 2435 i have given it a name as deferred expense account it is of type balance sheet asset sub category prepaid expenses so this is a straightforward gl account creation next is we need to have a deferral template record created in this case i want to defer the expenses by 3 months so this is how it will be so this is the deferral template card in business dynamics dynamics business central uh so here there are some fields so this is where i will set up the gl account deferred account 2435 uh i am going to a lot 100% of the expenses a uh, calculation method is equal per period start date beginning of next period and the number of periods are 3 some explanation of the calculation method types so these are very straight forward and simple uh, self explanatory you can go through the help description here start date again the different options are here and again it is very uh, straightforward and self explanatory in case if any further explanation is required you can uh, question uh, in the comment and i will try to answer the your questions next we are going to create a purchase invoice Uh, so we purchase three months of maintenance services costing one thousand per month for three months starting January month uh, in the month of January. But the maintenance services will start from the next month, which is February month. So we create a purchase invoice for maintenance services for three thousand and attach the deferral template. Let's see how the system behaves. So going back to business central. if i go to purchase invoices so here is one purchase invoice which is already created so if you see the the invoice date is in the month of january 2023 and this is for repair and maintenance expense so the line is of type gl and the account code is 8130 which is repair and maintenance and quantity i have taken as 3 unit amount 1000 so the line amount is 3000 and this is where in the line i will attach the deferral code for the 3 months deferral template so now if i go to posting and preview posting so this is the gl entries and if i port it to excel let me zoom it a bit so so these are the gl entries which will be created by the system when this transaction is posted so let me filter on the month of january and let me focus only on the type invoice the invoice voucher so if you see the vendor account is getting credited 
by 3000 and also the deferred ex the uh, repair and maintenance account 8130 is getting debited but then next what system is doing it is creating additional add to entries these two so the expense is getting reversed so it is getting credited and the whole amount 3000 is getting transferred to my deferred expense 2435 gl account next if i go to february month so what is happening is system is creating a voucher for the february month where repair and maintenance is getting debited by 1000 so expense of 1000 is getting booked in the month of january and deferred expense is getting credited by 1000 similarly we get for next two months so in the month of march same thing my expense is getting credited, debited by 1000 and my deferred expense credited by 1000. So these are the entries which the system is going to create. So at the end of 3 months, the deferred expense will become nil and for January, February and March, 1000, 1000, 1000 will be debited to my expense account. So this is the voucher which the system is going to create and the transactions for the next three months in the February month my deferred expense is getting credited and my repairs and maintenance is getting debited by 1000 and the same transaction repeats for the next two months. Please like and subscribe, give comments this will motivate me and help me to improve and create no more informative content. Thanks for viewing, happy learning.